This is Twit. So uh, you'd think it'd be Mary Jo that would go hands-on with the new notepad, but it's <laughs> it's Paul getting all handsy. Well, okay, but here's why. You can only get it in the uh, dev channel of the Windows dev, Insider program, right. and I'm going to guess that Mary Jo is not involved with that right no, now. No, I am no longer in the dev channel. Because it's a uh, one-way dead end street, right? It's not a. Pl it's not yeah. associated with any version of Windows. Right. It may. There may never be an no, out. It breaks, you know, uh, it breaks. Things happen. Mm -hmm. nah, I don't want it. <laughs> so I. Yeah. So here's the good news uh, for Mary Jo and for anyone who cares about uh, Notepad. It, it, it does not expand uh, change the experience in the slightest. The actual good. part of the editor that is the editor, where <laughs> you see text, is the same. It is the same. Um, you know, the selection of font is a little more modern. They've moved two menu items around, uh, not a big deal. So every single feature, literally, that was in Notepad before is still there. And Great. let me think about this before I say it. There's no real new feature. I mean, there's a, a very basic settings interface, which is just for fonts and I don't remember what the other one is, uh, some other feature, for some other setting. But um, it's really basic, and um, yeah. I'm glad because, you know, I... I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I mean, they they, yeah. they almost ruined paint when they updated it. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping they will get to fixing that uh, <laughs> over time. Uh, there, I know just looking at it, there are going to be certain things they never do fix, but I'm glad that they, this to me is when we, when we think of a, a legacy app and you kind of apply what I think of, even if this isn't what it is, like a WinUI 3 coat of paint to it, you know, give it support mm -hmm. for uh, dark mode, which I think is great. You don't ruin the essence of what it is, hopefully, yeah. and that's what they've done here. So that's it's just good news. Is is the dark mode truly dark mode? You know how they've had trouble making some yeah. things truly dark mode. <laughs> in that, in that, is it all dark? Kind of, you mean yeah. like there is there some hit? No, it, it appears to be all dark mode, and I think that was part of the. You remember I said when I did my version of Notepad a couple of years ago, one of the problems I ran into was I can't. I, I apologize. I can't remember the t the window type. But there was a specific window type they used for find and um, find and replace, and mm -hmm. it, it the, the support for that in modern um, frameworks is lost. It's over. They they've just they don't offer it anymore. That thing because it was written twenty years ago, will never support dark mode, right? And I think that's part of the reason, mm -hmm. probably the reason, they created a new UI for that because they had to. So no, there were no you know the same thing. The font dialog that would come up was an old that thing probably dated back to the nineties. Um, yeah. You know, if you if you look at your font dialog in Notepad today, what you're going to see is it, they might have restyled it a little bit, but it's this that thing's got to be 30 years old. Mm -hmm. So those interfaces are now new because they have to be part of that dark mode support. I think that's the rationale for all that. So it looks good. Mm -hmm. It's it's got to be, you know, when when you're a coder, you write you want to write code that does stuff instead of writing code that works around bad stuff that the yeah, operating yeah, system yeah. insists upon. <laughs> right. I mean, I... I, I, I spent some four days writing a dark mode picker <laughs> because the default one was wouldn't do it. Well, yeah, but those are the UIs that when you think... It's a legacy app, you know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's just... Yeah. So yeah. if you're going to support this new thing, you either do or you don't. You know, if you... Even the new file explorer in Windows 11, like if you go to... Uh, that menu thing and go to options, folder options pops, pops up. That's a legacy control panel. Uh, mm -hmm. Same thing with probably the property. No, properties goes to a new interface actually. So, but there are still it's the hard UI about dark yeah. mode. Is yeah, you got to yeah. fix all of this old stuff. Yeah, to support and you never it. will. It's kind of, like it's the, the run old dialog is still old. It's they didn't just, know about dark mode. They just liked everything <laughs> in one color. <laughs> no, and that's part of the complexity of uh, Windows. Is there's yeah. so much yeah. uh, UI in there that dates back? Some of it dates back yeah. thirty years. So, in in you have a dark mode. It's dark. It's pleasant for your eyes, and then it's like a spotlight pops up in the middle of the screen. Uh, that could be a little tough. Anyway, no, they did it right with the Notepad. So Kevin Brewer good. has sent us a video of uh, his experience <laughs> when when it when you know he starts in dark mode. And the suddenly, ah! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. that's exactly Thank it, you, Kevin. <laughs> or you like you laying in bed at night? It's like three o'clock in the morning, and you just and then it comes. I mean, come on, you'll be seeing like light reflections for like the next fifteen minutes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. there is no yeah. auto save. We've had we Paul and I have both been asked this. That's not there. Uh, 
No, no, they, they haven't added any features. There's there are no right. new features now. Right now that they've done this, though, does that mean they they could be set up to add features? Of course, and I have a very basic auto save feature in my version of Notepad. It's very easy to add because you can tell because I did it. Um, hmm. I suspect that Microsoft, with its infinite resources, could probably figure out something a little more sophisticated. Um, Maybe. I would welcome that <laughs> kind of a change. You know, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. 